everyone, it's Gus Heimer here with Finny wow. Souza. Subscribe to Blades Rumble on YouTube. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye. What is happening, Blades? And welcome back to the Blades Ramble. I am, of course, Jimmy, and we are proudly sponsored by Action Coach Sheffield. If you are a growing business and want support to continue that growth, they are the people to speak to. They've helped this channel enormously, and I thank them and all of our support, uh, sponsors for their support. Today, we've got a really interesting video, and I want you guys to get involved by dropping your comments in what you agree with, whether you agree with me or whether you agree with my guest, who is Andy the Blade. Thank you, Dad, for joining us again on the channel. Hi, How are you doing? You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks, Jim. Very good. Very good. So today, Dad, we've spoke about this briefly beforehand. I gave you a outline of what I thought we could be doing today, which was just rejigging contracts. And those out, basically what we want to do today is those that are out of contract with United, because we know there's a load of players out of contract. Who are Get you rid keeping? of them all. Oh, <laughs> who are you keeping, <laughs> if any? And who are you letting go? Um, because obviously, the more you let go, the bigger the, the rebuild job. But maybe that's what's needed at the club. And let's be right, not many will argue against that at the minute. I think you've gone one step further, haven't you, Dad? From what I understand, and you've decided to rebuild the whole squad yourself. So <laughs> rather than just a release video... You've also got some replacements that you'd like to see come in, from what I understand. I've got, I've got my ideal team for next year, to be honest. Your ideal team, great. My so. ideal team next year. But it has changed three times since Monday night. I had a team <laughs> before Monday, and then that just all went up in air, because I had trusty in my team. So as, as, so, the steady well, left, as the steady left back for well, our team. Full disclosure, <laughs> we are recording this post-Arsenal, which is the Monday gripes, and pre-Bournemouth. So, you know, whether yeah. whether that's done well or not, we will not know. But, um, yeah, so thank right. you for that, Dad. As always on the Ramble, I am not prepared for that, but I will try and go with you in terms of who I think we should be bringing <laughs> in as well, if that's the way we want to go. So we're going to go man by man as to whether you're keeping them in your team. And at the end, we'll reveal our squads that have okay. left. From, yep. from the players that we've renewed. So, first up, Wes Fodringham. Renew or release? It's got to be release. Um, I quite liked Wes. I, you know, I, I wasn't as down on him as some people, Jimmy the Blade. Um, but um, <laughs> but it's just not sustainable now. Now that he's, Wilder's made it, made it known that he's not going to be good enough for a team. So he's obviously looking for to bring Gerbich in, who I'm not convinced by one little bit yet. Fully agree. I am releasing Wes Fodringham, mainly because, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying he won't, wouldn't go well or okay in the championship. He's done okay for us in the championship previously. I mean, you know, I'm not a fan, so I'm not going to backtrack on my previous statements. But, the main thing being, I don't think he'll be a number two. I don't think his attitude's right to be a number two, and that's just from I my totally perception. Agree. Of him. Totally agree. Yeah. And I yeah. think I think he feels as though he hadn't done enough, done that much wrong. Really, I think he thought he deserved probably to stay as number one. Yeah, you I know, think, get, yeah. getting us up and what have you. But he can't he can't be brought put down to number two and then come back again. I think it'd be hard for him to do that. Yeah, I agree. So Wes, we're both releasing Wes. Thank you for your service, Wesley, but you're uh, you're not being renewed. Yeah. Moving on but we to... Do, but we do need another goalkeeper, I think, because I don't think we Gerbich do. is the answer. I agree, Dad. I agree. We're jumping a couple I mean, of I pages first look, When I first looked, I know this is a slightly different thing, but when I first looked, I thought we'd look at Gerbich being number one and to bring somebody in as a as a backup to Gerbich. But I think Gerbich isn't good enough. From what I've seen, as I said, we'll give him till the end of the season. But it's it, it's very it's early days, isn't it? But the volume there is he's shown me nothing. Le you see the second goal. See the second goal yeah. against Arsenal went straight through his legs. That I, I was sat next to you I know in you the did. ground. I know. <laughs> so yeah, I did see it. Did yeah, but you but you had your head in your hands for <laughs> ever since first goal gone in since whistle then. So, <laughs> yeah. Just see it post after 30 seconds or that. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> I know. Right. So, Wes is gone. We're not sure on Gerbich. Adam Davis, 
and Jordi Amissa. Let's chuck them both in together because I think well, it's probably going to be Adam be Davis similar has never has never been that good good enough really whenever he's come on. And but Amissa, I've not seen him, so I've no idea really. Is he? I've no idea. I don't know about Amissa. So if what, he's not on what money, you could keep him as number three, couldn't you? If he's happy you to could. stay as number three. I think that's, I mean, I that's sensible. Yeah, I think that's fair. Mm. Keep a misser, potentially. Renew a misser. Just Renew a misser. As yeah, a third re- option. Re- and release Davis. Release Davis. Yeah, I think that's probably yeah. fair. Right. Good stuff. On to the defence then. Currently at right wing back, under contract, we've got Femi Sariki and Sam Curtis, the new up-and-coming kid. That is... Scary to think there are only two that are under contracts. There's heavy, heavy rumours, and it's been put out in the papers, and, and we may believe that this to be true as well, that Jaden Bogle has a year's extension that we can activate on his contract. And we, we've stopped all negotiations with everybody in the squad, including George Baldock, which for me is a huge concern. What are you doing at right wing back, Dad? Are you, I don't think we're strong enough with the two that are under contract. Are you renewing... Bogle, Baldock, both or neither? My ideal situation is this, in this right wing back, would be Baldock to be offered a new contract and to mentor uh, Sam Davis and Sariki, really, uh, to come Sam through. Curtis. Sam Curtis. Uh, Sam Curtis, not Sam Davis. Yeah, Sam Curtis. Um, and if it, I'd get rid of Bogle. Bogle's not in my plans Hopefully, it might it might take. We're the same, I think, on a few of these contracts where we might have to renew the contract to get something for them because I think we'd maybe get a couple of million for Bogle um, rather than letting him go on a free because I think people will have not seen how crappy he is. Um, but <laughs> but <laughs> I'll not realise that crappy is. There's one who you can watch on YouTube and, and yeah, yeah, really good see, player, yeah. that looks good. Agent sends you some stuff out, some little clips of him going around and getting forward. Doesn't see him when he's 30 yards off winger and they're letting them do what they want. I know. Uh, oh. um, so, uh, so, yeah, Bogle, I would let go, but obviously, hopefully, we could get something for him. So that might include give him a, yeah. a renewal to get rid of him. So you renew him to sell him on. Um, but I would definitely, I can't see, understand why they're not looking at George to bring back. It's probably his injuries and probably he's, he's obviously he's over 30 now. But we're not going to get a lot for George. And I think he's such a good servant for the club and, and brings a lot of Sheffield United qualities to the club. And I think he'd be a good mentor for the young kid at the right back. I agree, Dad. And that, I've, <laughs> surprisingly, I've got exactly the same deal lined up. I would sell, Bol- uh, I would sell Bogle. I would have yeah. Sam Curtis come in as the understudy on the bench in and around the first team. Baldock may not be available for all the games and that's a perfect opportunity in the Championship yeah. for Sam Curtis to come in and have a go. We've also got players like Sai Sachdev and Femi Sariki as backup, yeah. although I'd like to see them out on loan in the AFL again just to get some more development under their belt in the men's game. Uh, the one thing I will ask you, Dad, you know I'm a huge fan of George Baldock, as I know you are as well. I've been a big advocate of George becoming captain. If he signs a new deal, and I think that's probably the only reason that he hasn't been considered so far, but if he signs a new deal, would you give him armband? No, keep it with John Egan. Would you? Yeah, I'd keep John Egan as captain. Egan's in my team. I think, okay. we've, missed I think we've missed him this year. Um, not Obviously, we know that he's had a dip in form and he's probably, well, I don't know. I don't know whether he's quite actually premiership quality, but I think we've missed, we've missed, Organize the organization at the back has been horrendous this year, and I think yeah, you can only, only put it down to really to Egan not being there. No leaders, no leaders at leader. the back. You know, I mean, he's not the great, he's not the player that he used to be two or three years ago. But you know, even if you just got somebody at the back just saying, you know, pull back here or come here or close, close him down or whatever. Yeah, you and go, I might be wrong with Egan, but that's that's what I think. So that's why Egan would get in my championship side. That brings us nicely to the centre halves, actually, because we've got Trusty and Robbo under contract. We've also got a nil under contract for next season, but I think it's widely acknowledged or, or assumed, and it's only an assumption at this time, but I think we're both under impression that a nil will leave in the summer. He's one of our saleable assets that I think we can get a good return on, particularly on the form he's been on this season. So at the moment, we're working to the, the outline that we've got Trusty and Robbo under contract. We believe that there's a one-year option on John Egan. And then obviously we've got Chris Basham 
and that unfortunate injury situation where he's out of contract. What are you doing with Egan and Bash, Dad? Well, yeah, I agree that Anel should go. I think he's, I think his mind's somewhere else anyway. Where he's playing at the moment, I think he's very ordinary, and get whatever we can for him. Um, Egan, I would definitely, obviously, like I've just spoken about, I would definitely renew his contract. Bash is a sad situation. We all love Bash and we all know what Bash has brought to us coming through from First Division right through to Premiership with us. But I can't really I can't really see him coming back from this injury. And to be, if we're totally honest, he was struggling anyway, even before yeah. the injury. He was struggling to get in the team. So... I would look. I'd like to look after. I'd like us to look after Bash, but you can't be so sentimental that you would give him a, a squad place on that. Absolutely right. Completely agree. I think, unfortunately, that's that's the end of Bash, particularly yeah. at a good level of football. And it's a Billy like Sharp say, situation, isn't it? Really, it is. Yeah, it is. Where I mean, how old is he now? Thirty-five. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been it's a great servant for us. Uh, Ten years. 10 years yeah. he's been with us and absolutely brilliant. If he can get up to a point where he can make an appearance for his testimonial, I think that's the least we can do as a club for his service. So should absolutely, absolutely help him out. If, do whatever we can. We, but, but that doesn't go by taking up a squad place because I think he's, even before he was injured, he, he would have been touch and go. And Dad, he, would have, the, he would have only been a backup. The... The situation we're in as a club at the minute, there can't be any room for sentiment. So these yeah. players who have admittedly done a fantastic job for us over the years, John Flex just gone recently, will come on to the midfield. But um, Bash, like you said, even if he were fit and firing, it, yeah. it may well be he's not he's not going to do enough to get a contract anyway. And it's just unfortunate that it's come about through injury. So I think yeah. this, may be a, this may be a record, but I think we are completely the same so far i'm offering oh. not only am i trying to extend egan's contract by a year i'm going to offer him a new deal so yeah no me too and keep too. him two or three years really just so that he's it's a solid experienced pro in with the transition that we're going to be going through so exactly right jim we've, we've got so many changes coming in or hopefully you know like a com not a complete reset but a very big reset um we do we do need some people who have been there and done it with us you know, over yeah. the year, few years. Absolutely, absolutely. So that takes us on to left wing back to complete our defensive duties. Just to remind everybody, we've got Jilly Buyaboo and Harry Boys under contract for next season. Yeah. We've out of contract. Obviously, Larucci goes back to his parent club. Um, I'd be amazed if we even entertain making that permanent. Yeah. He's not. Do you have any of my opinion on that, Jim? No, I haven't, and I won't either. Um, so <laughs> out of contract, um, Reese Norrington Davis, another really unfortunate injury situation, and somebody else who started struggling with injuries, who I believe we might have an option on, Max Law. What are you doing at left wing back, Dad? Max Law, I'll drive him to wherever he wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god, yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> RMD. I like RND. He's been he's been another one who's been what's going on with these injuries, but I really like RND. And if he's anywhere near being able to come back, we've got to offer him a new contract because he's he, he gets into our first team if he's if he's fully fit. Either at left wing, you... either at left wing back, left centre half, or even left back. If we if we go I'll, far, I, can... I was gonna just gonna ask you that question as well because where do you think he's best? He's best, not where we need. I think we need him at left wing back because of the, the how light we are. Well, strangely enough, moment. in my in my best team that I've got for next year, I've got him at sort of left wing back. So again, I, I'm in full agreement. I'm offering Reese a new contract. A lot of people are a little bit anxious about his injury well, concerns and how prone he is to, to picking up these injuries. A little bit of the similar to Ryan Brewster, and he's not been able to stay fit, unfortunately. But like you say, because of how we are in that position and what we've got behind him. I'm not saying Jilly Buyabu or Harry Boys aren't going to be good players for us in the future. They may well be, but they're unproven. And Reese is proven at that, at that in that position. We're letting Max Lowe go because he's not a good enough player. Some may want to keep him. And if that's your thoughts, then you you let us know in the comments. But for me, we've Max got a lot Lowe, of 
We've Could got you? a lot of youngsters who are, look really good. You know, we, I don't know if you're going to talk about, you know, our blasters and your Brooks and people like that. But you can't rely on them to do a full season straight away in the championship. You've got to have some some established professionals, you know, Absolutely. and bring them in gradually. You know, you can't just throw them in and expect them to do a job. And Absolutely. you know what? And you know what, Jim? A wise man once said that the best, what's the best ability to have? The best ability is availability. 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 <laughs> Correct. Correct. It's stuck I don't with know that wise man was, but... <laughs> Do you know, it's, that, it's not just us that have repeated that since, though. It is it is not just because it's a clever saying. It's very mm. pertinent to our situation at the minute, oh, isn't it? Of course it is. You can have the so, best player in the world, but if he's not, if he's never fit, yeah, what good is it here? Right. That's right. Big position now coming up. A position that I think we have the most options, if not the most quality. We have got several players under contract in centre midfield. Because I'm, I'm just going by, and I know you may change this on your squad rebuild, but... We're going through the team as the majority of us know it through the 3-5-2 system. So, looking at it on paper, under contract we have got Gus Hamer, Vinny Souza, Tom Davis, Anis Slimani, who people often forget about because he's been out injured as well, Oli Arblaster and Andre Brooks. Out of contract, <laughs> we have to consider whether we're keeping or not. And I'm, I'm chucking Ozzy in there as a midfielder, but obviously we know he can play anywhere. Ben Osborne, who it's been reported we have a one-year option on, and Ollie Norwood, who is out of contract with no option. What are you doing with Ozzy and, and Norwood, Dad? Oh, well, I initially I had, I had them both staying. But after Monday night, I would keep... I'll start with Ozzy. I would keep Ozzy. Ozzy gets, gets a lot of stick. A lot of it is, I suppose, oh, you know, you can accept it because he's not that he's not a great player but I think he's he's a wholehearted and he always puts it in and he can play quite a few positions so I would keep Ozzy for the squad when we've thought about Ozzy as well I don't like him here but he does a job at left wing back as well which we are also very light at the moment we need so. we need cover we need cover and if you have a look through, I don't know whether you'll put this in but if you have a look through um available left backs or left wing backs there's very very few you know who's available to come you yeah. know you we yeah. looked at your you know your Ryan Gileses and stuff like that didn't we and yeah Manning. Mannings yeah but yes slim so pickings. Osborne pardon slim pickings isn't it yeah slim pickings yeah that good old country and western singer <laughs> 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 God. That's so um yes, so I keep Osborne. Norwood, I don't think will stay. I don't think he will sign a new contract now after Monday. I agree. So um I was gonna maybe offer him probably a contract that he wouldn't have wanted anyway, but I was gonna offer him one just to keep him on the books and sort of like just be a, a backup, but I well, don't think he will stay with us. I agree, Dad. It's embarrassing to get hooked after 15 minutes. Yeah. You know, it could have been anybody like Wilder said, but he picked Norwood to come off, so he clearly didn't think he could make the difference. And, I understand. and it's part of a big part of big reset. I think Norwood's not part of it. He'd only be a backup. I agree. And I think you look at the... I say strength, because obviously we've got quantity in that position, haven't we? So I, we also acknowledge that Vinny and August may leave as saleable assets for United. So we might free up a space there, maybe two at a push, but we've still got back up there then if we need, because there's, there's four people that can play centre midfield that are left. So without Norwood there. So I agree. And again, we've gone with the same outcome here. I'm renewing Aussie, probably just exercising his one year option, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Norwood is released. Yeah, me too. So, right. Very interesting. Now, mm. we've, come, we've come on to the Hollywood position, the forwards, the one that everybody loves. Obviously, we're losing James McAtee. We're yeah. losing Ben Burrett and Diaz. Yeah. Cameron Archer will be automatically bought back by Aston Villa. And, you know, if one more person asks me how that deal works, I'm going to lose my mind. But we cannot keep Cameron Archer unless it's a separate deal now that's done. Yeah, so, yeah. it's got to be a separate deal now. 
It's got to be a separate deal. It's built in that if we are relegated, Villa must sign him back. No ifs or buts. So he will become an Aston Villa player again next season. It wasn't a loan, but it was essentially it's worked out like a loan because of that deal. So that leaves us with contracted players up front. Rian Brewster who will have a year left on his contract. Oh, great stuff. How many games will we get out of him there? Willa Sula. Who, yeah. who we've, we've everybody's got high hopes for, and yeah. we can we both and I don't mean to speak for you, Dad, but we both see a lot of potential in. It's just there's there's got to be a little bit more improvement if he's going to reach that next level. Louis Marsh and Ryan One, I'm going to include in the strikers that are under contract because people are, are talking about them whether they're going to get a chance next year. The, I think Louis Marsh are, has probably just been stepped back now because of his injury. Yeah, it's. it's it's a difficult road, isn't it? And it's a mental test, I think, sometimes more than a physical one when you keep breaking down. Rian Brewster's no greater example of that. So, yeah, yeah Louis Marsh may benefit from a loan where he can prove his fitness and, and yeah. hopefully find a bit of form. But I'm including them anyway just as potential options. And the one, the big ones that are out of contract is Dan Jebison, who has been a bit back and forth on whether he'll sign or not. Wilder seemed confident a little while ago. We now understand that that might have soured a little bit. And to me, it doesn't look like he's going to sign. But this is a case of, would you want him to re-sign? And the big one, your favourite, old coloured boots himself, <laughs> Ollie Mack, Ollie McBurney. Are you keeping Ollie McBurney? Because I think it's, you've made it no secret. You've been very disappointed in him as a sign-in. <laughs> That's the polite way of putting it. But you also acknowledge that there is potential saleable value in him. Yeah, so absolutely. Is that what you're thinking about in terms of whether you renew him or not? I'll go first because I think I know where you're going to go with this. I'm releasing them both. I don't think, I think they're too much hassle. I think the um, Jebison's attitude doesn't appear to be right with me. There's a, there's a touch of Wes Fodringham throwing his toys out at Pram, not really in the fight. Um, wants to blame everybody else and probably has half an eye on his future elsewhere so he can go for me and we'll get a fit, small theatre tribunal. Ollie McBurney, I don't think, brings the right attitude to what we're trying to build as a football club. As a, as fans, all we've ever talked about and the way you've always said to me as well about Chef United is all, we're not going to be the best team. We're just, as long as you're putting the effort in, the fans will respect you and they'll stay with you. He may well be doing it in his own way. Don't look like it to us, no. does he? Don't look, don't look like it. Don't chase. Don't hurry. Don't don't give everything he's got for the shirt. We we're a chest beating kind of team that, from a working class area, we want the people to put the work in. It's not. He's not doing it. So I'm releasing Ollie McBurney despite it being a huge cutting of our losses, if you like. So what's what's your thoughts, Daddy? Uh, I'd assume you're going down that route, but there's also half a chance that you keep him for for sell on. Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, yeah, I, I'm very, very close to what you just said, Jim. Um, first off, Jebison. I think Jebison's attitude stinks, to be honest. And I think he's just playing us. So You've said that for a while, haven't you? Yeah, just yeah. get rid of him. I mean, the thing is, with both of them, and so there's two different things. Jebison's attitude stinks. I think, he, as I say, he thinks he's better than he is. And um, he's not proven it to any great extent so far. No. So, you know, so he, he uh, but anyway, so I would let him go, but it's, it would be a great shame not to get any money for him. So, however we can work that round, but if we have to let him go, we have to let him go. And again, it'll, yes, be tribunal, tribunal. Yeah, it'll be a tribunal. Yeah. So. It won't be, a, it won't be a lot. With no. McBurney, exactly the same. McBurney, I mean, he has got a couple of attributes, like we've, We've talked about, you know, he's he's good at defensive headers and he, he's not bad at linking play up a little bit. You know, if the ball is played up to him, sometimes he plays it off quite nicely or whatever. But I think in general, his play is so lackadaisical and away from what we need and what we require. I would get rid. And I think there's some people who still quite like him. There's, there's always talk about Rangers wanting him or, you know, Swansea wanting him back or, you know, the people who's had him before. But it'd be such a shame to get nothing at all for him. So whether it's a case where we have to give him, where we have to give him a, a contract, um, so that we can sell him. But the from what I can, 
what I would imagine is the contract would be have to be quite big for him to sign anyway, for him to do mm -hmm. that. And then that runs the risk of him saying, well, I'll just stay in on this contract. You know yeah, what I mean? And, absolutely right. Who's, Swansea aren't going to take him off his hands if he's on 40 grand a if, week, are they? If he's on 40 grand a week, neither are probably Rangers. Do you know what I mean? If he's yeah. on, And he won't, he probably won't sign. If he, so, you know, he can say what he wants about being Sheffield United and, you know, Saying he's, you know, is this and is that, but he, I don't. Think, he's off. I think it's, you know, it's all to do with what. He, he, and I suppose he's a professional footballer. He has to look after himself. But I just, I mean, we've we've both worked with professional footballers. You know, I'm not. I can't say what they're all different, and I can't say what McBurney's thinking or Jebison's thinking 100. percent But I've known players who've worked worked the ticket to get away. Yeah. You know, who, who will, you know, I'm not saying down tools, but will sort of like make it awkward or they won't sign contracts or they won't do this or whatever. And it's just wind the contracts down or get their agents to do this or they're injured when when they might have a little niggle, but they'll say, you know, no, I'm not well enough to play. I'm not saying they're doing that, but I'm just saying it does happen. So, and I just think that Jebison and McBurney are players who we don't need at the club and I think we can... Get rid and start again. From what I understand, and I want to know whether you'd be on board with this, is that the club would rather, because of his injury issues, and we're looking at maybe a lower downside guarantee, but more of an incentivised, you play this many games and you'll get paid this amount, so more appearance related. Now, for McBurney. That, for McBurney, yeah. And, and maybe even George, if, you, if, if we're considering them both as quite injury prone at the minute. Now that, for me, is... He obviously favours the club heavily, which is great for, for the club and the sustainability. But I think it also could potentially <laughs> cause some issues because McBurney might be fit, but might not get in team. And then he's going to kick off because he's not getting his money. So I'd do, do it for how'd... George. I'd do it for George, but I wouldn't do it for McBurney. Okay. You wouldn't. Okay. So we've got a lower down. So you wouldn't pay him 25 grand a week. I won't pay but... McBurney. I won't pay McBurney. <laughs> Chill fall. You won't pay him at 25 quid a week. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a huge disappointment for us, Auntie. I know, listen, you've been a lot more vocal than me and, and I sat on the fence for ages trying to give him every opportunity, but I just cannot Jim, see I, it. Jim, I would have loved... I mean, I, I, I've, been, I've been like this since the very start when he first arrived. You have. I can, I can and, vouch and, for that. You have. And each time, each season or each part of the season... I said, look, that nothing would please me more for him to stick it to me and say, stuff it. Not that he's bothered about what I think, but <laughs> for him to prove me wrong. And I, honestly, I would have loved it. I mean, but the only time that he's ever, I mean, he, people say, well, he scored 13 goals in championship in 13 uh, league goals in the championship when we went up last year. Yeah, he did. That's only time he's ever scored any amount of goals. And if, we went to all them games, Jim. And what happened? But he every defenses, defenses had three men on on day on in day every game, and he was bloody left on his own. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, I think the seasons before, I think he got one. I think he got two seasons before and one season before that. He's a centre forwards. Yeah, twenty I mean, million centre forwards. It were anyway. um, it it were highlighted, and uh, Man Mountain mentioned it on. 90 after 90, I don't know if you've caught up with it yet, but that on the Monday Night Football debrief, Henri was saying... I saw it, Jim. I saw it, I saw it. Henri was saying that, you know, we can leave one man on McBurney because he's quicker, stronger, yep. more skillful than him. We know that he's not going to cause us any bother. So why we can push everybody else forward and leave him 1v1. It was embarrassing. It were on, it were on the Monday Night Football recap. And he's, he's pointing it out, Durham Circle. He says, that's why... That's why it, Arsenal can push all their for all their defence forward. They leave him one on one. He says, "Because what's going to happen if the ball comes out? Who's going to win that? It, whichever way it comes out, whether it's something to chase, whether it's something to muscle, something to win in air, who's going to win that?" And he says, it whereas, whereas, "Whereas, Willa Sula, I'm not not going to be fit to lace Gabriel's boots or whatever it is, and I understand that. It's not a diff it's not about quality. It's about totally what right. You can offer. It's about what, in terms of your attitude, they're not going to take him, they're not just going to be able to switch off and deal with him with their eyes closed 
because he will be running at them, putting them under pressure. It will be, you know, causing him a couple of issues with his pace, even if they're going to be better players than him. You just need to be able to make him think, don't I you? I can't keep... You've got to stop this, though, now. I've got to... You've got to stop asking me about it, Ben. I'm just... It's not fair. I'm not going to go keep going on about him all the time. So, I'm not. I'm so, I'm sorry. Ollie McBurney, I'm sorry, because I don't... He's probably a ni- the nicest man in the world. And I'm you just... don't believe that, though, do you? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not, I don't know him, so I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, I think... Is that a full agreement with everything that we're doing with squad? I think squad? it's more or less a full agreement, yeah. I think it's more Without less confirming. So, it, we're going to be a case of what do you think to mine versus my dad's yeah, yeah. squads. But we're going to run through the squads now. So after everybody we've released, this is the squad that we're left with, which moves right. on to his next part. But we've got Ivo Gerbic, Jordi Missy, uh, unfortunately, a distant third. Gerbic may hopefully prove a point to us that... He might, he might save a shot now and then. <laughs> yeah, he might come off his line. We'll yeah. never know. Might can hope for. Right wing back. I'm okay with this. We've got George Baldock and Sam Curtis as his understudy. Correct. In defence, we've got John Egan, Jack Robinson... Austin Trusty. And at left back, we've got Reese Norrington Davis, backed up potentially by Ozzy, who can also fit in there as well. But if not, we've got Jilly Buyaboo and Harry Boys if they don't go out on loan, which would be nice to see him get a decent loan under the belt. But so again, light, light on that side, particularly with Reese's injury issues. Centre midfield, we've got Gus Hamer. I'm omitting Vinny Souza, and I'm assuming Gus Hamer is going to stay. Now that could go either way. Both could stay, both could leave. I'm sticking with Gus Hamer, Tom Davis, Oli Arblaster, Andre Brooks and Anis Slimani. And then up front, we've got Rian Brewster, Willa Sula. You want to send Louis Marsh out on loan, so maybe Ryan O'Neill in and around the first team squad. Again, we need more depth around there. So it's looking very light, Dad. Looking very light. Very, so very. How, are you, how are you? Gonna, we've got money in for Anel, we've got money in for Vinny. What are you gonna, and yeah. hopefully backed a little bit by the owner, and people will scoff at that. But if we are gonna mint, there is a danger here, Dad, that we are gonna just drift as a club. Uh, if yeah. we don't invest, I think you've, you've got two players there. To some money. We've got, got two players there. What about Holgate? What's happening with Holgate? Holgate is obviously a lone player. Will return to Everton at the end of the season. Is he somebody you consider bringing back? No. Okay. And also, what about our big summer signing? Who was on loan at Leon or wherever? Nantes. Where is he? Treori. Oh, absolutely. Great shout. Somebody who I've not included because I just assumed it would be made permanent, but he may well return to us. Benny, yeah, little, we don't want him, little, little, little Benny Triore. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll include Benny. Um, what's your what's your plans then, Dad, to reshape Chef United? Because this isn't something I prepped for. Right. Well, before Monday, um, I was looking at maybe going to a back four. To be honest, but the way I saw Trusty take my part by soccer, I thought, "Hot dang!" I was, uh, oh, hot damn! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> you don't trust in the process. I don't trust the process. No, not with trusty. So I had a little rethink. I had a little rethink, and I, I just thought to myself, what would be the idea? And this is quite bringing quite a few um, players, not quite a few, but a, a few players in, but not really any loans as such. Um, and also, mm-hmm. um, it's, it's what I would like rather than what I think will happen. Okay. So, and you're going to you put spend, this piece. Are you spending what? a lot of money? Uh, decent amount. Not a lot. Not a lot, a lot. So and it also, a lot, depend, a lot depends on Forrest staying up, even though I don't want them to. <laughs> because I'm, I'm nicking that, half their That's team. revealed it a little bit already, I think. I'm nicking so, half yeah. their team. Right. So, I, mean, I think we'll need a new goalkeeper. Yeah. So, so the goalkeeper will obviously the favourites been for a long time has been Johansson at Rotherham. Yeah. But would you but be all right is, with that? I know that's been the general I'll, narrative, but I would be all right. Although I did see him really um, 
Dropped a clanger, didn't he? Dropped a clanger, yeah, when when they lost 5 0 there. There's a there's a other couple of stand a uh, couple of um substitute keepers at big clubs. There's um Carrius, uh, an artist at Newcastle. Is it Carrius? Yeah. Uh and also the lad who's who came from Newcastle who was at Leeds who was not getting in. Darlow. Uh, Darlow. I like I Carl Darlow. Darlow. Darlow and Carrius might be might be decent shouts. But, but obviously Darlow's to... about 34 though, Dad. I know you're they're, they're all sort of like the, in the 30s, to be honest, all of them. So mm. I think so anyway, goalkeeper. I think we need a, a goalkeeper. Yeah. The back three is going to be right. Egan in the middle. In the middle, right. Still. Worrell at right centre back. Love that. Cashin at left centre back. Cashin at Derby. Yeah, go on, tell me what. Tell me it's gonna be too much. Yeah, we really like him. We have both liked him for a long time. Yeah. In fact, I think I mentioned him in last season's squad build when we went up. Yeah. He at that stage he had a year left on his deal, or 18 months, whatever it was. And now he signed a new deal. And they reckon it's, it's gonna cost back. Division. Yeah, yeah, but they reckon division. it's gonna co- Yeah, but Derby might come up the second in league. They're not they're not gonna come up. Well, if they come up, they, if they come up, he won't, we won't get him. But if they don't come up, there's a chance. Right? How much are you, spend, how much are you dropping on Worrell and Cashin? Uh, Cashin will be might be about eight to ten million. It's a lot of money when we've got two left-sided centre halves. <laughs> yeah, we'll get rid of one of them. Uh, <laughs> um, that is, and to, to be honest, Dad, that is that is a great defence. The only young Worrell, Worrell is just being sent back. He thought. They thought they would got a deal with the Turkish with Besiktas. I think he's been sent back. He's been sent back. Yes, it, they had a. I think it was three and a half agreed. Three and a half yeah. mil. If so, we can get him for three and a half mil, then we absolutely. snap our hand off. So there you go. So that's the back three. Love that. Right. Yeah. I, I, I think know, cashing's out of reach, but I'll go with what you're saying. Go on. Very few left-sided defenders, by the way, as good as that. So we're going back to a little bit of. The old style United, where we had four across the middle with one in behind a front two. The old championship with Duffy, the Duffy roll. The Duffy roll, yes. Yes. So, love that. The middle two is going to be Lois O'Brien, who we've spoken yes. about before. Yeah. Who was who is on loan at Middlesbrough, also from Forest. Yeah. And I think I'm hoping our blaster is good enough to step up to to be in the middle with him. Now, obviously, we've got Davis and people like that who could play a little bit before them, but I think those would be the two in the middle. We've got RND probably on the left side. So, and like the right, a, a high, a high right wing high, back. Yeah, uh, left wing now, back. Sorry, yeah. Now the other side is probably you're going to give me some stick about this. I know you are, and I have just been reading that. I think some big boys are in for him. I've got Philogene from Hull. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. You don't have to laugh like that. Uh, Phil a gene is not right. Wild. Okay, I've got an alternative for that one. Phil, uh, the reason, just for people that don't yeah. understand that, by the way, Phil a gene, yeah. the reason I'm laughing, you have liked him for a long time. I'm not sort of saying this is like somebody who you've just pulled out because he's, he's now a popular name. Yeah. He, they signed him from Aston Villa for about five million quid. He's done nothing but improve since. Yeah. And there is no way Chef United can afford a player of his caliber in the which is ridiculous to say to say we're a Premier League team coming down with parachutes. But the model that we're going for, we will not splash more than eight figures on any player. No chance. I'll be amazed. Absolutely eight amazed. Eight figures. What are you talking about? Eight figures. So that's ten million plus on any. All oh, right. Yeah, it'd probably it'd probably be about eight another eight million. I would have thought. No, nah, it'd be twelve fifteen easy. All right. Well, Villa Jean might be out only because he started playing so well. But we could have yeah. had him for five million from Villa. Yeah, we could have done. Season when we're talking about him. Yeah. So the alternative to that would be somebody else who I've mentioned before, but he's another Forest player at the moment, Josh Bowler. You like you're a big Josh Bowler fan, aren't you? I am. Yes. I'm so, not a fan. Right. There's the there's the four across the middle. So yeah, just just breeze past the. I don't care. Yeah, go go, go past that. <laughs> I'm not he's... asking you. Premier no, I'm, Premier I'm just telling you. Twenty years. I'm not asking you, pal. <laughs> right. In 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 the Duffy role. Who's in the Duffy role? Gus Hamer, hopefully. Gus Hamer's in the Duffy. Yes! In the Duffy. 
Yes. So that means we're getting rid of. So we got rid of Souza. We've got rid of Manel. Yeah. The other one. Oh, again, we should have signed earlier, which we talked about. But I, I would really would like us to get Kiefer Moore. Big Keith. Big Kiefer up front. Obviously, he's on loan at Ipswich. Now we've got, we got any loans. We haven't really got any loans in here, so we could maybe do better than no, this. I would hope we spent about fifty hope, million quid. We haven't spent. Where's fifty million on that? Tell me fifty million. Uh, Philogene. Oh, you've just said we can't afford Philogene, so we've got just Bowler for three. Anyway, Keith, we're on to its forwards now. Keith for more. Okay, I'm, I'm with you there. Keith for more. Yeah, and we need somebody outside of him. So, I mean, there is a chance that Archer might come back. To be fair, if we oh, if we have a new deal. Can you imagine uh, that Archer yeah. and Moore up front? That'd be that'd be obviously. I'm telling. This is my ideal team. I'm not saying that we'll we're going to do it, but this is my ideal team. If we didn't get that, the, the people I've looked at, and again, we, we have, we're gonna, we've got to balance this because we're going to have all the youngsters below these. Because so we've got like Curtis in below. We've got like I mean, Brooke. even if, instead of Philogene, we could have um, Baldock in there. Yeah, we? we could. Yeah, in you know, so we don't have to spend that sort of money, and then we'd have Curtis underneath them. We've got our blaster in. We're going to have um, a Sula sort of on the edge. Some will argue Brooks. in that. In that some will argue in that formation. It suits Bogle. Well, and Bogle's not in it, so I know Bogle doesn't make my squad either. But um, you see, we've got a. I mean, this is there's some older players in here. Don't get me wrong, son, which I obviously it's not they're not great for sell ons, but we have got I'm using them to sort of like bring on the younger younger kids who are underneath yeah. who hopefully will do it. A loan deal that I would particularly look at who hasn't been getting in anywhere is Danny Ings at West Ham because he hasn't been getting in at all. So Danny Ings, I mean, again, we would have a quite an is he's, he's in his thirties, I think now, about thirty, is he? Yeah, third, over that, I think, yeah. Injury. But, prone. I mean, in the championship, I think he would be, as a as a replacement, if we can't get Archer back or someone like that, just as a goal scorer, I think. What's he on a week, though, good. Dad? I mean, I don't expect you to know off the top of your head, but he's got to be on 80 grand plus. No, no, no. He has. Dad, he's, he's been David Moyes won't, won't play that at West Ham for a reserve. Although... They did buy him for a bit, didn't they? I think did they buy him for a bit. It was going to be a main player for him, and he's just not done it. So, and I understand at championship level, I think he's he's going to be amazing. But I don't yeah. think we'll pay them sort of wages. So anyway, that's my ideal team. So, so we've got. I'm just trying to anybody else. Do you know what, Dad? I think I really like that. In terms of players, I think it's very realistic. In terms of transfers, I'm not convinced. In terms of like. You know, we've got question marks over cash in. We've got question marks over certainly Philogene. Right, right. You're right. But we, we spoke, spoke about Philogene. You could have said that last year when they were at Villa. And Villa were desperate for some money. So they got, Hull got him for five million. The, you don't the ask. other thing, plus, plus that, the, I know you you're right. Get... That's true. And the other thing that you've touched on, which again is right, we've hardly got any loans in there and you get up to five. In champ in your squad, so you get a player like if you can't get Philogene, you get a player like David Brooks in on loan. Absolutely, Brooks. I, I, I put Brooks down or a Palestri or somebody like that. Absolutely, right. And you think and Palestri might be a step too far, but you'd have thought David Brooks wouldn't be a championship player this time last season, and he's playing in really? championship now. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's not beyond the realms of possibility that we can just get a sprinkling of permanent transfers and then just beef it up with significant loans which is what the loan market's for really so going through your team then we've got Victor Hansen in goal Joe Worrell John Egan and Erin Cashin as yep. your, your back three yeah you've got a midfield four or sort of a, a deep four of George Baldock slash Josh Bowler slash Jaden Philogene yeah. Lewis O'Brien who I think would be a superb signing absolutely brilliant alongside Double energy, Oli Arblaster. Those legs in midfield are exactly what we've been missing from those two. Yeah. Left hand side, you've got Reese Norrington Davis. If he can stay fit, do we have an alternative? If he's if he's not up to it, no. Okay. <laughs> you've got <laughs> you've got Mister. Uh, uh, well, do you know? Who, do you know who would fit in there? Actually, 
Bereton Diaz. Oh, Chuffy Nil. Yeah, just drop another on 20 long. mil. No, that could be a, that could be a long deal. It's a bit deep for him, that though, isn't it? I would it say. is a bit deep. Well, it's a bit deep for thought. Well, don't forget, I'm thinking about championship pushing forward. <laughs> Chuffy Nil. Are you are you Marcelo Bielsa or what? Yeah, I am. <laughs> so that's your midfield four. You've got Gus Hamer with no defensive duties, which is fantastic Correct. for him, and get him Correct. in that hole, in the number 10 role, the Mark yeah. Duffy slash Gus Hamer role, as it'll be known at the end of next season. That is, <laughs> I love that bit of business, and that's where I'd like to see him too. And then up front, you've got Big Keith alongside, Big Keith. alongside hopefully, Cameron Archer. Can you imagine? Back on loan. I... The, the rumours are, and what Darren Smith were talking about, is we're trying to get a a deal worked out where we could potentially get him on a loan with obligation to buy if we're promoted, which absolutely suits us down to the ground. So you see, besides those though, you see what I'm looking at really, besides those, obviously that's an experienced team. You know, and you th and people can argue and say, well, there's some older legs in there a little bit, you know, you but then we've got like your own ears and your Asulas and your yeah. your um Curtis and Brooks, Brooks and people like that who will, who will hopefully come on and maybe towards the end of the season or certainly for the season after look to be pushing for first team places then. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. I'm a big fan of that team. I'm amazed, by the way, that we agreed on almost every, no. in fact, every contract. You, you've finally listened to what I've been saying <laughs> after all these years. <laughs> 39 <laughs> years it's taken you. You're 39 finally. almost. Seen Almost sense. 40 years it's taken. <laughs> Finally seen, seen the light and realised that I talk some sense. I've always done <laughs> that, Dad. You know that. <laughs> Dad, so let us let us know your comments down below on not only our contracts, do you agree with who we're keeping and who we're, who we're releasing? What do you think to me, Dad's team? I'm I'm fully on board with that. I think some of them, as I've touched on, may be a touch out, out yeah. of reach, which Dad's well, justified. <laughs> I've got to oh. say, Philogene, Philogene, funnily enough, I just had a little look at Philogene's uh, notes before a couple of days ago, and I, I didn't realise how much that everybody's sort of like gone on to him, because I've been fancying him since when he were at since Villa, Villa, and he were looking to yeah. go out on loan. We were on loan at Cardiff, weren't he, last season, and yeah, nobody really and, uh, spoke about no. were it Cardiff, but... It's uh, anyway, so yeah, good, really good player, but I think we've missed the boat in terms of getting him yeah. when his values yeah. down at Hull, Hull of got a gem, aren't they? There, maybe Hull or somebody we look at for plucking in some scouting talent from if, if they're getting deals like that over the line. Well, the other thing I would say is if we ever, I'm a you know, I'm a wilder fan, I don't like some of his transfers, but I'm a big wilder fan. Yeah, but if ever we get rid of Wilder, I would. Love to look at the whole manager. Rosinia, you're a big fan, aren't you? Big fan of Rosinia, yes. Yeah, me so. too, me too. But, listen, but I don't not... want to get rid of Wilder. I'm not saying no, that. We're... I'm not saying... So. we're on the march with Wilder's army. Yeah, we but are. He's... But you do, Stick you are him. a big Liam Rosinia fan. I understand that. As am I, as am I. Good, good yeah. young manager. So, Dad, thank you so much for joining me today. I've really enjoyed that, as I always do. And um, thank you for imparting your wisdom on me once again. It's very much appreciated. I have to say, just before I go, um, I've had to take out Helic and Ridoni from any of my um, suggestions for the teams because all my Huddersfield mates were playing L, <laughs> saying, stop recommending Huddersfield Town players. To be fair, I'm a, I'm a Ridoni fan too. I'm not, I've not seen enough of Helic. You like him. I know you've mentioned him a lot. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of Jack Ridoni. Yeah, he, both good, he, very he, good players. He would be and on the short list, wouldn't he? And they pay peanuts. Yeah. If like uh, if, yeah. if a Lewis O'Brien don't come off, you've got to be looking at somebody like Jack Radoni, aren't you? Maybe he's yeah. that left hand side, Dad. You know, for Reese. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be. So, let us know what you guys think in the comments, and thank you for watching. But for now, come on, you red and white wizards, up the blades. Yeah. <laughs>